at Graham Stephan here. I don't know if you know Graham Stephan. He's a YouTuber. He's got like four or five million subscribers. Finance does a very good job. 32, 33 year old guy, super successful, makes six, seven, eight million a year, has done very well for himself, sold 180 plus million dollars of real estate. We're doing a podcast here, he flies out, and I said, uh, he asked me all these questions about parenting, all this stuff, because he's about to have, you know, he wants to have family as well, get married. And I said, hey, okay, let's play this game. Because he's saying, I don't think we need to take, put God in school and take out LGBTQ because people need to be aware of what's going on and it's not fair. For the longest time, people couldn't be able to come out of the closet and all this stuff because they felt judged and all these things. Fine, no problem, let's play that card, okay? So you're asking what's moral, what's immoral? I said, Graham, question for you. Your wife comes home and she tells you, she says, babe, kids are going to go hang out with XYZ on Saturday. And he's going to go hang out with this, uh, this kid, his g- uh, good friend Jason in school. What's the question you're going to ask your wife? Who am I going to... Uh, what are you going to ask your wife? Who the fuck are these people? Who are the parents? Yeah, who okay. are the parents? So, who is going to influence my child? Totally fine. Yeah. And I said to Graham, I said, Graham, uh, Graham's not a Christian. He's not, he, doesn't believe, he believes in a potential creator, but he doesn't believe in Jesus or God. Mm. He believes there is a creator, but whoever that creator is, it's a different kind of a creator. Okay, I said, no problem. I said, so I'm going to give you three situations. You tell me who you want your kids to go with. He said, okay, go for it. I said, the first person, your wife says... Oh, uh, the wife is a teacher at the local Christian school, and the father's an engineer, but his dad used to be a, you know, a senior pastor at a local church here. Okay, cool. Second one. Uh, it's a single father that's got two kids. He raised the kids. The mom is no longer there. Apparently something happened with the mom disappeared. She left with another man, but it's a father raising two kids. It's these two kids. Okay, cool. The third one, it's a mother. She's funny as hell. She's freaking hilarious, but... She does smoke weed, but, uh, you know, she's on Section 8, and she gets some money. But, dude, she's the funniest cat out there. We, she's so hilarious. Who are you going to feel comfortable? Your kids going to their house and playing all afternoon, and you're not there. Graham says, of course, the, uh, the one with the uh, school teacher, Christian. I said, okay, how about the second one? The father. How about the third one? Mother. I said, based on what, though? How, how did you come up with your uh, decision-making process? Based on what? Mm. I said, you feel safer that a kid of yours is around somebody that is a school teacher that's Christian. Why do you feel that way? What? You're not a Christian. Why do you feel so much safer around that? So, okay. So now let's take it to a different place. You have to choose a mother who's got kids. A mom's decision will be made purely on what country she wants to take their kids to based on an S letter word. The, a woman's going to marry a man based on one word first, and it's the S word. What is it? Safe. Safe. I want my kids to be safe and secure, no problem. So guess what? She wants a place that's got cops. She wants a place that's got military. She wants a place that the kids are not going to be bullied. She wants a place that's going to be safe. She wants to make sure the husband's going to protect her. She's going to face safe, feel safe. When she has the kids, the money, money's going to be there. Whoops, blah, blah, blah. All this stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I said, you got three countries to go to to raise your family. One country is ran by a leader who is a... An atheist. The entire country's foundation, the Constitution, is built on atheism. Another one is built on Christianity. Another one is built on Hindu. What country, not saying you become that religion, 